On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make chicken cordon bleu. This crispy on the outside with tender chicken breast swirled around melty cheese nestled inside with thin slices of ham and provolone cheese. It can't get any better than this. This recipe is so simple. So without further ado, let's get in to today's video. To a mixing bowl, we're going to take some breadcrumbs. We're going to add about two cups of breadcrumbs to this mixing bowl. We're going to go ahead and add some salt, pinch of salt, pinch of black pepper. We're going to go ahead and add some Parmesan cheese, just a handful. These breadcrumbs are Italian breadcrumbs, so they're already seasoned with spices, and then we're going to go ahead and toss that and coat it. Mix it all together. Okay, and set that to the side. We're going to go ahead and crack some eggs. We're going to crack three eggs into this mixing bowl here, and then whisk them. Break them up, and give it a whisk. We're going to go ahead and take out our chicken breast that we prepped up the other night and place them in the bag, probably starting off with one at a time. Now we're gonna take our meat tenderizer. You have two sides, you have a pokey side and a flat side, and we're just gonna use the flat side. What we're gonna do is just inside the plastic bag, going to flatten our chicken and tenderize it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out of the bag delicately place it on the plate. And we'll do the same thing with the other breasts. So we have our tenderized chicken breasts, okay? Nice and flattened evenly. We're gonna go ahead and just sprinkle this with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. We're gonna flip it. Same thing to this side. The other one that's under here. Okay. And we'll just give them a quick coat. All right, so we have our nicely tenderized seasoned chicken breast. We're gonna go ahead and lay them out here flat on the cutting board. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we have some thinly sliced ham here. We're gonna add some thinly sliced ham to our chicken breasts. And then on top of that, we're gonna add some provolone cheese. Okay. All right, so to make things easier, what you could do technically with these rolled up chicken is you can put skewers in them and hold them together, but I have one easier way to show you how we're gonna do that. So we're gonna take some plastic wrap. pick up our chicken, one chicken at a time, and we're gonna roll it, okay? You wanna make sure you leave some end tips. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put these in a bowl, and we're gonna put these in the refrigerator for 25 minutes all the way up to an hour. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow the chicken to tighten back up so that when we unroll it, it holds its shape and we can then dredge it in the egg and breadcrumb and get it going with the cooking process. All right, our logs have now been chilling for a couple hours. And here's what happens when you unwrap them. You have a beautifully shaped cordon bleu. Okay. So we're just gonna set that to the side and we're gonna open up the rest of these. We're gonna get back our eggs that we cracked and our breadcrumbs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these beautifully shaped cordon bleu logs and we're gonna coat them in eggs completely. In the egg and then in the breadcrumbs. We're gonna press the breadcrumbs right on it encasing it 
in this beautiful, crunchy topping. All right, to a cooking pan, I'm using a Dutch oven here. Go ahead and add your cooking oil and turn your heat to about a medium to high. What we want to do is we're going to sear off our chicken cordon blues here. Now, simply what we're doing is we're just going to give this color. We're not looking to fully or thoroughly cook the chicken. Just going to sear it so we can lock in the juices from that provolone cheese and sweet ham. But we're also going to crisp up the sides. Once you are cooking for about two or three minutes, go ahead, use tongs and carefully turn it. The oil will be hot enough that these breadcrumbs will start to brown quickly. You don't want to burn it here, but you do want to add a lightly golden brown color. Now you also want to make sure that you sear off the ends. And then go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 because now we're going to transfer these beautifully looking chicken cordon blues. We're going to put them in the oven. We're going to cook them for about 20 to 25 minutes until they reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees or higher. All right, so we've been baking for about 20, 25 minutes at 425 degrees and we are done. So how do we know we're done? Remember that internal temperature I've been talking to you guys about? We want it to be 165. As soon as we're above 165, we know we're considered no more pink, no more rawness. All right, we're gonna let this sit just for a second. I'm gonna set these to the side. I'm gonna set it down. I'm just gonna let that baby rest. While we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and we have some seasoned brown rice that we made up. We're gonna just gonna go ahead and add to the plate. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna ever so gently just use a serrated knife to cut down. Right under, pick it up, put it right on top. And we'll just sprinkle some of this on top for color. And voila, your chicken cordon bleu. One last thing we must do, give it a taste. Mm. It's seasoned perfectly. It's tender in the middle. That Provolone cheese gives it a nice little salty balance, but that ham, that sweet ham is what really brings this whole dish together. Listen, if you loved this video, smash that like button. Share this video with all your family and friends and come back and join us here next Saturday for one more amazing video. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you on the next one.